Howdy folks, this is Joe, aka Sir Stabbington. Are you ready for more murder? Murder, most foul. Murder by numbers! Everything is falling apart right now. We have a lot of people all in this, on this murder case so far. Let's continue. I just wish I could do something instead of just being stuck in here. If I could get out. Hmm. Use the coffee pot with the soap, with the clock, with the vending machine, and bam. Mm, maybe I can help? Who, I'm guessing it's Scout. Am I hearing voices? Maybe we really have been locked in here too long. <laughs> Hello! Hello! You again. What are you doing in here? Helping! Do you need me to find something? Uh, I'm good with that on the stacks. A killer. And it could be anyone in this room. Even you? No, not me. <laughs> I just don't know how to prove that yet. Maybe that's how I can help. How, how do I know? How do I know I can trust you? I don't even know what you are. Ask me anything you want. I'll try my best to answer. Let's question him. Scout. Uh, hello, Detective Justin Actress. Please call me Honor. It's a pleasure to meet you, Honor. I am Scout. What would you like to know? What are you? <laughs> first things first, what are you? Good question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer. <laughs> That's why I need a detective. Uh, you don't know anything about that? Oh, you don't know anything about yourself? I know I'm a robot. I'm equipped with radar, an imaging camera, and over 200 megabytes of storage. Wow, that's a lot. No, it's not. So you're some kind of flying camera? Unclear. Most of my subroutines are corrupted, but many are for searching optical data and matching for known objects. However, most of my object database has been lost. That explains the tampon thing. So how much, how much do you lose, by you know? I don't know. My memory banks were severely deteriorated when I came online. Huh. Seems like quite the mystery, Scout. Where did you come from? Where do you go? Where did you come from? Scout and I, Joe? I was hiding. I was hiding under the table. I felt. I didn't mean in here. I mean, who made you? I don't know. All that tech and no warranty card. Hope, better hope you don't need any spare parts. Okay, let's work backwards. How did you get here? I was following the street when I saw Murder Miss Terry is solving mysteries every Thursday. The billboard outside the studio. Oh, the billboard outside the studio. Do you solve mysteries on other days as well? I don't know if I can wait till Thursday. <laughs> you said you were following the street. Where did, where were you before? Prefer? Where were you before? A bad place. There were broken electronics everywhere. No wonder I was damaged. You mean the scrap heap? Who would throw you something like you away? That's what I want to find out. What do you want from me? I told you I'm not a real detective. I understand, but perhaps you can help me find one? <gasps> Poof. <laughs> Poof. I've got my own problem, Scout. One of my friends is dead. And maybe you haven't noticed, but we're locked inside a break room, and I can't help anyone right now. Then let me help you. I can find a way out of this room so, so you can prove your innocence. And I'll be free to help you. It's logical, isn't it not? It's logical, is it not? Can't argue with that. How do I know I can trust you? My friend is dead. For all I know, you could have killed him. I would never hurt anyone. I don't even know how. Well, you take your little claws and you... <coughs> I don't... I only want to find out who I am. Hmm, I don't see any weapons on you. I guess you're safe. <laughs> Yay! Bing! I... But I swear... Oh, but I swear, if you go all high 9,000 on me... We're the rule. The rule. So, can you help me find a way out of here? Sure, I'll do a quick scan. Scanning. The door. There's a gap in the wall. It's behind you. Approximately six feet, eight inches tall. What? That's the door. That's the door, Scout. <laughs> bonk, bonk. <laughs> if I could fi get a... If I could get out that way, I wouldn't need your help. Sorry, my logic circuits are obviously still warming up. Give me a moment to make a more detailed scan. Investigate. That's a great idea. Use scout scanning mode to locate objects of interest. Oh, look at the... Move the view viewport with the mouse and click to scan when the cursor finally fills... 
Oh, fully red? Whoa, this is trippy. Aha! The vent. Puzzle start. Whoa, and I get puzzlings. Hell yeah. This is fantastic. Ooh, this is only a six down here. We've got all these ones. We've got threes. These are all done. Mm. Yes. We learned how to do these last episode. Or the episode prior. Last episode was mostly talking. Talking to people. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Whoa. What does this mean? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Where are we going next? Where? What, what can we do? Well, all these are definitely ones. And so are these. And so are these. And so are these. Nope. 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 These are all ones, too. So these must be fours. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell you what. Those are those, too. I bet these are these. But let's not be too hasty. Let's not be too hasty. Here's some twos right here. Yeah. Well, bam. Uh, oh, nope. That, that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and done. Oh, I didn't need to fill in those two. It looks like a great to me air vent. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Look at all those points. Difficulty, no assist. I think I've located another, another way out. Could you verify that it's not another door? It's an air vent that might actually work. Or at least it works in the movies. The problem, this isn't a movie, this is a video game. It's sealed up with a metal cover. Come on. You don't have a ha happen to have a crowbar, do you? I don't think I have that feature. Worth a try. It's worth a try. Use those chips. The cover seems to be held in place by four metal screws. It could probably remo be removed for access. Okay, so we need a screwdriver. I'm guessing you don't have one of those either. Use one of those. You're like claws to do this. No, I'll, I'll be sure to bring it up with my creator if I ever find them. <laughs> um, what are you doing? What do you think you are doing? Uh, and what is that thing supposed to be? I am Scout. Yeah. Blonk, blonk. Anna, are you really that desperate for friends? I always knew you were weird. But, uh, I think I I didn't think it was this bad. <gasps> Have you written your statement yet? <laughs> He's helping me. I didn't kill Blake, and I'm gonna prove it. Ha! How's a piece of junk like that gonna ever gonna help? Looks like you dug an, an old Betamax player out of the trash. Actually, I did meet Honor until after. I didn't meet Honor until after I left the scrap heap. <laughs> that explains the smell around here. She's getting very uh, lumpy space princess <laughs> vibes. Ugh, that's talking. That, what's taking that detective so long? You think someone his age would value time? For once, I agree to you. Scout found an air vent that leads out of the room. I'm gonna get there, get out there, and prove I'm innocent. What? No way! I'm not letting you sneak out while I'm stuck in here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Tie me in a chair? Whoops! Whoa! Whoops! If you so much as touch that air vent, I'm telling Detective Cross. You get fired, Blake dies, and then you try to escape. Yeah, it's, she's got a point. You don't look so innocent to me. I like her earrings. It's nice earrings. What if she is right? Escaping this roof might might not be the best option. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, Scout, and we have to move fast. The longer we wait, the more the time the killer has to cover the tracks. How do you know that? I've picked up a thing or two over the years. Murder mysteries were all my fav always my favorite story. I just never expected to be one. That's a bummer. But before we can get out of there, out of here, we have to find some way to distract Becky. Hmm. Question that Becky. Becky, I have a question for you. Ag, what do you want? How are you holding up? <laughs> Poof. 
say. I'll be okay. No thanks to that idiot detective. I can't believe he's left us left us locked in here without any protection. What if the killer tries to finish off the rest of us? You don't think they'd be trying to lay low? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, it, we're, it's definitely these four people then. How should I? How do I? Sh I know. I'm not the matter out. Maybe not. But on the other hand, what that contract thing? Don't be stupid, Honor. That was just business. I'm not a suspect. I'm a victim of circumstance. You and Detective Cross. Sounds like you don't like detective. Don't think of much of Detective Cross. He's so old. I thought that real detectives were supposed to be cool and mysterious. And do the X Files. The only thing mysterious about him is that is why he hasn't been retired yet. Finding a bird. Were you really fighting with Blake about your contract? I do not want to talk about it. Was she? But can you be but can you believe these people? I'm their biggest star and they can't even find a few thousand dollars for a permission? I swear it's like they want the show to die after What are you smiling about? Nothing, I just just uh, thought you didn't want to talk about it. Hmm. Drip. You should let me go. If you really want to get out of here, you should let me go. The sooner I, I the sooner I, oh, Don't want to give her honor the Becky voice. The, uh, the sooner I can prove I'm innocent, the sooner Detective Cross can concentrate on finding the real killer. No way, I have to be stuck in here when then so do you. You're, you're just mad because you, you're you going to miss their stupid party. Duh, it's the social event of the season. I'm supposed to be there in three hours. If I don't get out of here soon, anyone, everyone will be drunk by the time I get there. That, they won't even notice me arriving. Worrying about your party. You're more worried about getting to a party on time than, to Blake, than about Blake. Why don't you care at all? Because, of course I care. It's tragic. This isn't just any party. It's Mitzi McCree's party. Ooh. Mitzi McCree's party. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Do you know how hard it is to get on the, your guest list? I've been trying for months. Not that you understand. You've always got invited to these parties with your husband. Uh, oops. Sorry. Ex-husband. <laughs> what a jerk. Maybe now you're, you're, you're divorced. You'll see. you finally see what it's like for people like me. You know, people who got to where they are through hard work, not by marrying some rich guy. I audition like everyone else. Oh, I audition like everyone else. Oh, sure. And who got you the audition in the first place? I still don't understand why you divorced him. If I had a guy who got me into Mitzi McCree parties, I'd never give up. Meeting your biggest fan. So how does it feel to finally meet your our biggest fan? Oh, who's John? He's so pathetic. He keeps trying to talk to me with about poetry or some crap. As if I want to hear poetry at a time like this. You'd think your uh, your biggest fan would would know you aren't interested in art. I am in an art, but fashion is the art of the nineties, honor. Whoa, it's the it's the nineties. And John is anything but fashionable. Wow, it's the nineties. I gotta present evidence. <laughs> Karki? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, who else? Back to investigating? We've got a microwave. We've got a refrigerator. We've got a clock. Oh, this is, this is trippy. Well, I'm investigating all the things. Let's, let's, let's puzzle this start. Cool. I like the, uh, the way these, um, Sometimes they're long and sometimes they're wide. Whoop. Oh yeah. I do like you can go back and forth on stuff. Well, you can't make a three here. You have to make a three up here. Oh, and there's all your ones there. Mm, mm. Looks like a whisk. What is that? A screwdriver. That's exactly what I needed. I thought I was going to have to talk to Tully. Honor, I have you I've found something. My un ontological database indicates that some some kind of tool, but all further data is damaged or missing. It's a screwdriver scout. This is ju just what we needed. Hey, Tully, wasn't it um guessing this is yours? Huh? Well, what makes you think that? 
Well, because, I mean, you're a handyman, so... Oh, right, yeah! <laughs> Sorry! So, uh, do you mind if I borrow this? He's the killer. He's the killer. Mind? Mind? Why would I mind? Ooh, I'll lend you a tool anytime you like. Ugh, gross. I don't like this guy anymore. He's a, he's a skis ball. Maybe, uh, after we get out of here, you and me could, uh, grab some coffee? I <laughs> just go up to a lady with her bare chested. Uh, Scout, uh, I've. If you've got a cattle pilot attachment, now's the time. <laughs> Drip. Well, uh, now you know where I'll, I'll be if you change your mind. Back away slowly. Not gonna change your mind. I have a screwdriver, but I think that should do it for this episode of the Sir Stabbington Show. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.